It's tall and uh, fairly heavy. There's not a lot of other stuff in here, just some grass. This is a pretty good stand of alfalfa for us. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Dave from Rolling Hills Farm. You can see we've got the mower and we're back at it, uh, mowing hay. And today it's alfalfa. And you can see there's a little bit more blossom on this alfalfa than we'd like. Which means the protein levels are probably down a little bit. You know, in, in the low spots, there's a few patches of wildflowers, but this is a pretty good stand of alfalfa for us, and this is a very reliable field. So uh, we're going to knock this down, as well as a couple of grass fields today, and we'll get a better sense of uh, how the drought has impacted our alfalfa fields. This is one of four alfalfa fields we've got. Well, we're out in the uh, alfalfa field we cut a couple days ago, and you can see it's starting to lighten up, but it's still a little bit tough. Now, it's morning. It's not, it's not as crunchy as I'd like out here. When you look at some of the thicker sections, Pretty green underneath. So the question is, is it going to dry? We've got good sunshine, but already uh, nine o'clock in the morning, that cloud bank out there is an indication of increasing clouds today. And we've actually got rain in the forecast by sometime mid to late afternoon. Now, it's not going to be a lot of rain, so the discussion becomes. Do we rake this? And if we rake it, can we get it baled before that light shower comes in or do we wait and let the shower pass? It's not supposed to be that much rain uh, and bale tomorrow. Well, here we are two hours later and boy, the hay is pretty crunchy and not bad underneath. You can tell how much it's lightened. We've got mixed clouds and sun, but a pretty good breeze up here. So we're going to rake it. Now we just need to uh, hope that uh, the showers coming from that direction hold off until we can get it bailed. So I don't know if the camera can pick up the color, but it is really nice, these windrows, this alfalfa. Uh, nice double windrows, very green. Uh, this is going to be very nice alfalfa. We'll bale and wrap all these fields while Don is on the third field getting ready to square bail. I'm heading down the road, you can see Don ahead of me with the other baler. And she'll go into the square bail field and
and now get into the round bale field and we'll see if we can get this done before the rain hits. Definitely clouded up since we raked and the percentage chance of uh, rain is up quite a bit. There goes the net ramp. And I lift the hydraulics, the bale rolls out. And away I go. Well, the first couple of bales look really nice, solid. The alfalfa dried out. A lot of leaf in that. It's gonna be really good hay. So we're gonna get on it and get this alfalfa picked up quick and then get over and uh, um, do the grass fields. We've got uh, two grass fields um, plus the one Dawn's working on square bales. So we're racing the weather. Well, there's the first field and uh, not as good as I expected. Just uh, 12 round bales uh, of alfalfa, although it's very pure alfalfa. Last year, which was a really good year, we got 19 bales off this section. So, uh, and I'm, I'm afraid the grass is looking even thinner. Into field number two and boy, you can see the clouds building thunderheads off to the north. We need that rain to hold off. And there are definitely darker clouds now than there were just half an hour ago. barely out of the field and there's the rain shower I don't know if it'll hit us or just zip around to the north but the forecast remains for uh, rain tonight and it's definitely raining right there so do you think I should dig out another layer yes So we're at the neighbor Callie's unloading this load of hay in her barn for her horses. It smells so good. Yeah, it's nice stuff. Yeah, it's so sandy when you take a new stuff. Yeah, it's really Out of your reach. Yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> 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 
Or aren't we fancy with our fancy socks? How are you doing? How are you doing? There. That's our first load of uh, customer hay. Actually, Callie is our only customer. She's gotten hay from us for, oh, uh, since she was in high school. So, she's a barrel rider. And these are her working horses. Thanks for watching. We will be back when we uh, mow some more hay.